as I mentioned, AD04 is a ultra low dose of endansetron, which has been on the market at much higher doses since 1991 under the brand name of Zofran to treat nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy. You may ask, well, if Zofran is on the market, why don't you just use Zofran to treat AUD? And that's a great question. And the answer is, it's been studied for years at that higher dose. And like most drugs that work in the CNS uh, part of the brain, the dosing is what really matters. And the data shown that at those higher doses does not work. It does not help um, reduce cravings and impulse to drink. It's also not labeled for long-term chronic use at those higher doses because there are certain cardiovascular effects that can happen with treating it long-term at those higher doses. So between that and our patents, we believe there's very limited threat of any off-label use of ondansetron at those higher doses. We've done a phase 2B study and a phase 3 study with ad 4 The phase 3 study uh, was recently com completed and reported out in 2022. The overall population in the study did not meet the primary endpoint, but we did subgroup analysis and post hoc analysis on the study. And for certain genotypes, the data performed extremely well. As I mentioned before, it's based on a genetic test. We think this really sets us apart from the other treatments on the market. It is a simple PCR blood test. And what would happen is in, in the doctor's office, the doctor will offer this patient a test. You know, a lot of times what we've been told in our research is that doctors will see that a patient has increased their drinking and want to have a discussion with them in their physical, and they get a lot of pushback. The patient will say, that's not me. I don't have a problem. Why are we talking about this? And, the, and if it even starts, that's where it stops. What we see now, based on our research, is that the doctor will say the same thing, but then they'll also say, you know, there's a test we can give you. It's a simple blood test, and it'll show that if you have a certain genotype, we may have a drug that can help you lower your drinking. And then the patient reacts differently. They say, wow, that's, that's interesting. I would like to know that. And it takes it away from a behavioral issue for the patient versus maybe it's a medical issue, or maybe it's even something in their family history that gives them a reason to maybe understand why they're drinking so much. And we, doctors say they think that's gonna open the door to a lot more people seeking treatment. We hope they're right. 